more racing group h and this of course is a very interesting class these cars all built in the late 60s and early 70s a tremendous miscellany of gt and sports cars bob tell us about our leader at the moment well gene felton a fellow fast master and uh, and longtime imsa competitor is running very well in his boss 302 mustang but hot on his heels is bob hebert who for many years won this race in his xke that's a 1967 jaguar Boy, this is real serious racing. These two guys know how to drive, and they drive very, very well and very, very quickly, doing right around one minute, maybe a shade under one minute uh, lap time, which is incredibly fast on this mile and a half track. This is Prescott Kelly running an ex-Peter Gregg uh, 911 1972 Porsche. Beautifully prepared car with a big, long racing history in the SCCA and, uh, and IMSA. Prescott is a well-known Porsche collector from the Western Connecticut area. Whoops, and there's Kirk Boat, who's crashed his Shelby 350 GT, and uh, unfortunately, I think it's the same place he crashed the same car last year. Most unfortunate for him because he sustained some damage. And here's a 61 car of Bob Hebert, a perennial winner here. He must have a problem, so he drops out of second spot, which means our man Gene Felton in the Mustang there is cruising to a victory here in Group H at a pretty fair lick, as you said earlier on, Bob. Yeah, Gene snaking through traffic here to take the checker and a well-deserved win in an absolutely beautiful prepared Boss 302 Mustang. Gene, I think, is undefeated in this car this year. I mean, does a great job and uh, a tough competitor. At the top, Gene Felton, and within the top 15, Charles Casarella, who's racing a Shelby 350 for the first time this year. A very, very competitive class in this uh, very, very competitive day of racing at Lime Rock. Well, Group H is evocative of those muscle cars of the late 60s and 70s, Mustangs, Camaros, Jaguar E-types, and of course, Gene Felton, also evocative of those type of cars. A winner before in the professional racing series, took the second one in a row, Gene. How did it feel? It looked good. Well, David, all I've got to say is we've got to keep meeting this way. We should meet this way next year. Well, well I hope we can do. We had a great race. I'm sorry. I think, I don't know what happened to the Jag, but... Uh, we had quite a tussle there for a couple of laps, and I don't know. I hope he finished well. I don't know where he went, though, but the uh, Team Kieselstein Cord did it again. Boy, isn't it nice to have a well-organized victory celebration to, to share your, uh, your success with.